everyone. Welcome to a very belated Danny Dishes. I am very sorry this week has kind of gotten away from me. Um, and at first I thought like I didn't really have anything to talk about this week. Um, and then things happen. Um, so it's been, um, as people know, I left being a full-time Weight Watchers leader a few months ago um, to take on a temp job to help with finances, etc. Um, it was a tough choice. I didn't really want to stop. Um, leading meetings full-time, but unfortunately, um, bills come and et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, so I took the temp job <clears throat> and, you know, I knew that it obviously is called a temp job for a reason, but I was led to believe that it would be for a while. Well, I found out on Wednesday that that is not the case. Um, so it looks like the temp job will be coming to an end in the next few weeks. Um, I am not really sure how I was feeling. I was like, angry at first because I was like I've been doing such a good job but then you know you have to kind of remember that that's par for the course when you're doing temp contracting work and then I was thinking like maybe I'm not built for contracting work because it still like emotionally hits me you know I've never been let go from anything before I've never been had this experience so it kind of threw me for a mental and emotional loop um, which led to some nice um, emotional eating which as I was doing it on Thursday, like I knew it was wrong. Like I was eating and I was like, I am not really hungry. I am eating to fill the void because I am angry. And clearly this is not going to get back at the person I am angry at. It is just going to hurt me. Yet I didn't stop. So obviously <laughs> we learned that not always things go the way they should, right? I should have stopped do eating, but sometimes you just, you don't do what you're supposed to, right? And I then beat myself up over that and had to remind myself, I am human, right? I was able to curb it at one day instead of letting it go on for two, three weeks, months, whatever I might have done in the past. So that angered me. So it's been an, a week of like angry, sad, like crying on runs. And I mean, anyone that follows my pictures on Facebook or Instagram was probably kind of getting that tone. And it's not like I'm upset about the job. It's just the emotions that go along with it, I guess is what it's really saying. Because I don't like desk jobs. It's nothing I've ever done before. My jobs have always been kind of moving and whatnot. And so I'm um, never tied to a desk. And so I'm realizing that that's like really not good for my mind, body, soul, whatever. So I guess this is going to give me the chance to kind of figure out what to do next. Um, I don't really know what that is. I mean, I would love to go back to leading Weight Watchers full time. Um, but again, kind of the financial part of that comes along with it. So this is going to be my opportunity to figure out like what I want to do next. I'm really like thankful for the last three months at the temp job because it's really, you know, given me the opportunity to basically like pay off our credit card bill and like that sort of thing, which is like being an adult, what you're supposed to do. And I know that all of us go through this. It's not like something new and, and, and like only happens to me. So I know that this happens to everyone else too, but I just haven't experienced it myself recently. And so kind of going through all the emotions is kind of what's been happening this week. So what to do next, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm taking that weekend now to like really figure out what kind of jobs I want to apply to next, what I want to do. But I really had to like today on my walk and run, I figured out that I couldn't really carry around this like anger or sadness anymore because it was making those like dark thoughts creep back into my head. I remembered when I was depressed and when I was cutting and when all that stuff was happening and I don't want to go down that path again. And so I think the good thing is that I've recognized it and I don't want it to continue. So today I was like, I'm going to go for a really long walk, go for a nice little run and just like get the emotions out that way. And it's helped a lot. Like I do feel, and I go cliche, I say it again, a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders um, and I feel better. Do I have a decision or am I scared about what's going to happen next? Absolutely. <laughs> um, who wouldn't be? But, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have such a supportive wife and a supportive group of people that, you know, something will come around and I just have to figure out what I want to do next with my life. So let's figure that out at the age of 31. Um, so that's kind of what's been happening this week. It's been kind of a roller coaster of emotions and, you know, I'm not out of a job yet, but I know it's ending soon. So it's just something to um, think about. But my wife knows how to make me really happy. And so yesterday during the day when she was homesick, sad, um, 
something came in the mail and she sent me a picture of it and it made me so excited. So when I got home yesterday, the Strides Against Stroke 5K medals were in the mail and it kind of spins, which is cool. How awesome is that? I'm like so obsessed with them. So the cool thing is that tonight we get to sit down, have some wine, have some bobbly pizza, salad, and package up the medals to send to people. So I'm very excited that that is going to be our Friday night. Yay! Um, so there are some good things on the horizons, you know, one thing that I want to just say was, you know, really made me think back is that, you know, we can't always control what happens to us, but we can control how we react to it. And so, you know, it made me think I reacted incorrectly this week by turning to food again, but correctly by letting it stop at one day instead of going for like weeks and months or whatever might have happened. So there's good and bad, there's pros and cons, it's progress, not perfection, blah, blah, blah. But it's something to think about. Like, we can't always, you know, control what's going to happen to us, but we can control how we react to it. So that's my little life update from this week. Uh, so things are changing, hopefully for the better. I promise. I cross my fingers. But I'm really hoping to get back to blogging. Um, I've been crazy busy and tired and whatnot and going through emotions that I haven't blogged. And I know that that's another thing that, that is making me feel blah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel better when I blog. So I'm going to get back to that as well. But I just wanted to give everyone a little update because it's kind of been a little bop bop um, in the Instagram photos and things like that. So I wanted to clear everything up. So that is my little life update. But what I want to say is I hope everyone enjoys Memorial Day weekend. I hope you get to recharge, be with friends, family. You know, enjoy the time. Hopefully it's good weather here in Boston and wherever you are. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good holiday.